Okay, I'm here speaking to Sarah Moon today and she's going to tell us about her experiences of using real nappies and in particular with using them with twins. Hiya Sarah. Hello. Um, so Sarah, how many children do you have? I have four. Oh, excellent. What ages are they? I have a nine-year-old daughter, a son who's going to be eight tomorrow, which is going to be great fun. Okay. And then we decided to have one more child, and we were blessed with twins who are now <laughs> two. <laughs> Excellent. And they're a girl. And so were they all um, in real nappies? Yes. Fantastic. And what, what made you make the decision to use real nappies? Well, we've always been quite environmentally aware. And when we first decided to have children, we looked into how we could do it with the least environmental impact as possible and we decided that real nappies were the way to go. I mean, there's also the cost factor, though environmental was the most important thing. And in the end, they just look really cute. <laughs> they certainly do. And have you been able to, to use some of the real nappies that you bought for your first child like, on your um, subsequent children? Sadly, no, because I gave them all away because I thought I'd finished when I'd had my son. And so I passed them all on and paid it all forward. I think some of them might have come back through free cycle, but I'm not sure because I needed a lot more with the twins. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you were found out that you were having twins, did you worry that real nappies wouldn't be feasible that time round? I didn't because there's only 18 months between my older two, so I'd already done nearly a year of two in nappies anyway by the time I'd potty train my daughter so I felt quite confident. Other people kept telling me I wouldn't be able to do it and it would be too tough but there's nothing like that to make me more determined to make something work. <laughs> and have you found it more difficult um, using them with two? It's not the most difficult thing about having twins. Um, we have to be more organised because you know you need, you need more nappies and you can't. You haven't got as much leeway as to when you need to do the washing, and also because I returned to work when they were nine months old, um, I've always had to make sure that I've got enough nappies for the childminder as well. So a bit more organised, but you have to be organised if you have twins anyway. Well, so th that's um, fantastic to hear because I know lots of parents who contact us do worry about if they're going to go back to work that they won't be able to cope with using real nappies. So it's nice to hear that, that you have four children, <laughs> twins in real nappies and the working. Yeah, and my childminder was really keen to give it a go as well. And she's been very supportive of using the real nappies as well. Excellent. And has she had any trouble or has that all been fine as well? No, we did go for the Applix clothes ones with her just so it was not one less thing for her to worry about. And they are slightly easier to use than with nippers. But no, it's been fine. She was a bit puzzled when a non Applix one got in the bag one. She wasn't quite sure how to do with it, but she managed. Right. Uh, sorry, the Applix, uh, just to confirm, that's, that's like Velcro, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, so you'd kind of advise parents, maybe if they're y using them with a childminder, to um, maybe pick something that's uh, easy to get a hold of? Well, I, I give her all the nappies. It's the ones that are easier to use. Mm. Although I didn't. I decided not to go down the all-in-ones or the stuffables because I don't like dealing with them very much once they've got poo on them. I'm fine folding them beforehand, so I'd rather have the preparation beforehand than having to unstuff a damp or messy stuffable nappy. So, so that was just my preference. I think the thing to do is to speak to your childcare provider. So you use a, a two-part system? I do, yes. And, and you find that easier in terms of dealing with the poo? Personally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, it doesn't matter what nappy you have, you have to deal with poo, whether it's disposable or washable. And at least if it's washable, it all goes down the sewer rather than going into landfill. And that's just a big thing for me. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And, and it is a point, isn't it, that there's so many real nappies and um, different ones suit different people. Yeah, and that's the thing I've noticed this time round. I mean, it's almost 10 years ago since I was looking into nappies last time, and the choices were much more limited. And so I tried pre-folds and shaped nappies, but I found the top spots, which are the ones I use now, are so much better. 
and so much easier. Although I do have a fondness for a flat terry and a <laughs> origami when I've got some spare time. <laughs> yeah, plenty of people still do use um, the, the flat nappies and, and it isn't actually as hard as, as people think. Again, it's just trying things, isn't it? Yeah, it's finding a fold that works for you. And the plus thing with those is if you don't tumble dry, which we don't, they dry really quickly. They, you can put them on the line and they'll be drying in a couple of hours. With, and you can use them afterwards for wiping up all sorts. I mean, they're the most versatile of nappies, the flat ones. Yeah. And they some really cool bamboo terry, which are really absorbent as well. So best of both worlds. Yes, and it's probably worth saying that they're the most economic uh, variety as well. If people are looking to save money, that they're, um, they're very good for that. I think everybody who has washable nappies should have a few flat terries to bulk out their supply for the more trying days when you're doing real nappies, when you need more than you might expect. That's good advice. Um, and so, do you have any practical tips for parents of twins who, who might be wanting to use real nappies, things that have helped you? Well, the thing that encouraged me more than anything was I made friends with other twin mums through the sort of chat boards on the different internet sites and things like that and there's quite a number who've tried real nappies and so you can share what's worked and what hasn't worked and get an idea for how many you need because i would say you need lots otherwise you'd be washing all the time right okay uh, how many do, would you have roughly um well i did a quick count up and i have about 50 which is probably too many to be honest, but I think you'd need more than 30 with twins, and that would be washing every couple of days. But at least with twins, it's a full load rather than a half load, so it's more economical. And better for the environment as well if you've got full load. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody should have twins. Excellent. Um, and so uh, if someone um, has got twins and is thinking of real nappies, would your message be to them to not be daunted about it? Yeah, um, give it a go. Start off with a few and see how you feel. Um, it is possible, it is doable. I know lots of twin mummies who are managing really well and enjoying it and boasting about the number of nappies they have on their washing line at any given time. So <laughs> it's great. Excellent. That's, it's great. It's been fantastic to speak to you, Sarah. But before you go, I just want to ask you um, what real nappy secret you'd like to share with other parents today? Well, I was thinking of the things that I would have really liked to have known about first time round. One are one is free clothes, because my daughter is of a robust frame, and some clothes don't always fit around the nappy, but fruity clothes are cut really well for using real nappies. And the other is cheeky wipes, which are a washable wipe system, and they're brilliant. They, they come with a wet bag, so the wipes are damp, and it means you don't even, even need to buy wet wipes when you're out. So... It's two products that I wish I'd known about 10 years ago. Great, because uh, I mean, that's using washable wipes is a, um, a way to save even more money and again to help the environment, isn't it? Absolutely, and uh, you can use them on toddlers and older children who make a mess with their ice cream as well, so <laughs> it's a win all round. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Thanks ever so much, Sarah, for, for chatting to us today. No problem. Thank you.